In this video, I want to talk about hooking up speakers uh, using impedance matching volume controls. This diagram is going to show on the YouTube video a little later in a little bit better clarity. But I'm going to talk you through some things on the diagram first, and then I'm going to show you some of the stuff uh, second. Here's an impedance matching volume control. You've probably seen these before. You can ignore the color because the faceplates come in all different colors, but they're easily identifiable by that big bulk of circuitry and wiring on the back. And they're designed to go into one of these boxes, right? Now, if you look at the depth of a box and the depth of the volume control, they're pretty close. So when you install the volume control in a box, there's not a great deal of room left for the wiring. So in this particular volume control, the wiring connections are right here. So if you were to use these boxes, we recommend you cut the back off. Another option is a box like this. So you still have the high voltage side and then you have the low voltage side where the volume control can slip right in and then you see all that room for the connections on the back. Third option is using a low voltage structured wire box which has no back. Volume control slips right in. Plenty of room for the wires to sit behind the wall back here. Now, most impedance matching volume controls, if not all, have jumper switch settings here. And these are set based on the number of speakers that you have. In this particular diagram, we have a total of eight speakers or four pair. Now, in this diagram, we also show you a 18 gauge four conductor wire. That's a 18 gauge four conductor wire. One, two, three, four. Four conductors in one jacket. It's gray. Again, ignore the color of the outside of the jacket that's immaterial. Now, some people will argue that you need to use a larger gauge wire, and a larger gauge means that uh, it's a smaller number. So, 16 gauge or a 14 gauge wire some people would argue you should use. Now in this diagram we're looking at about a 2,000 square foot house but again this right here is a 18 gauge four conductor wire and that's the wire that's run from the amplifier to this connecting block and then from the connecting block one wire to each volume control. That is an 18-4 and that's on the diagram. Now connecting the volume control you have two wires, one to each speaker that's an 18 gauge two conductor and that's a two conductor wire right there and you can see this has a white jacket so the color of the jacket really is not material and if you look at a typical speaker you know it'll have a left and a right channel it has two connection points your red and your black uh, now if they're in ceiling speakers like I've depicted in this diagram they're round they'll have connections on the back it'll be one pair of connections on the back and if it's a dual voice coil which means it's a stereo speaker built into one it'll have four connections this is the front of a amplifier that drives speakers it is stable for impedance matching volume controls it's an 8 ohm receiver actually I'm sorry an 8 ohm amplifier uh, this particular amplifier is 50 watts one, two, three, four connections on the back of the receiver. Again, it's an 18 gauge four conductor wire. This goes to the connecting block in the diagram. You can ignore the connections on the bottom here because that's a different setup I have going on. And then of course you have to have your audio source input. So if it's an amplifier, receiver, or something else, you'll have an audio source. This is a connecting block it doesn't really serve much of a purpose except to keep the wires neat and that's about it. Now you can literally twist the wires so in this case 
these four conductors here at the bottom row are coming from the amplifier you just looked at and these wires on the top are going to the volume controls so you could take all these and twist them together but the connecting block keeps it neat and simple here's a completed volume control and you saw those boxes I showed you earlier depending on the type of box you use determines how the installation looks when you're done but that's a completed volume control that's a speaker that's one speaker it's an 8 ohm speaker that's the left of the pair of 8 ohm speakers connected to the volume control.